When should you fast? Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17. I'm reading from verse 18 through to 21. This was when the Lord Jesus was um, confronted with the faithlessness, as it were, of his disciples in that they brought an epileptic boy uh, to be cured by them and they could not. And so the Lord from verse 17, then, then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil and he departed out of him, that is the boy. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Now let's quickly look at Mark, Mark chapter 9. The same thing in Mark chapter 9, verse 28 and 29. I want to draw out two quick things here. In uh, Mark chapter 9, 28 and 29 says, And when he was come into the house, this is the same story, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. Now there are two important things that we want to note here. Number one is the aspect of casting out of the demon. Number two, which should actually be number one, is their lack of faith. If they had faith, they would have cast out the demon. Their faith would have been strong enough. So, when should you fast in this context? When you are weak in faith. When you are weak in faith. To be able to exercise authority over Satan and his demons. When you discover that there is a weakness in your faith. Sickness has come and all you are thinking of is death. That is not orchestrated by God, but by Satan. To fast. When you are praying for someone and you notice a weakness in your faith, you should go to God in prayer and fast. Wait upon the Lord. Lord, in, in, increase, help my faith to be able to believe and trust you for the salvation and the deliverance of my brother, of my sister, of my mother, of my father, of my aunt, of my uncle, of my village. And so on and so forth. It is, it is this kind of thing that gives rise to revival. You will find one man who will go to one corner and look at situations and begin to cry to God, fasting before the Lord. Soon enough, the power of God is released upon that man and the fire of revival bursts forth. 